I wanted to do something what is first of all enriching my life and second I always wanted to do what I love to do and I never regretted it. Uh, I'm Florian Scheuer, coming originally from Germany. Since uh, 10 years I'm uh, already in Hungary. Um, and what you see, this is my passion, restoring old timers made from Porsche. Yeah, since a couple of years we're dealing with uh, one of the most famous uh, cars from Germany, um, particularly built between 1950 and 1973. You couldn't call it the first time when you grew up in Germany. To be born in Germany means you get in touch with Porsche quite soon. But I remember the first time I was driving a Porsche, it was uh, when I was 22, so quite late. But this was for me something like, probably at that time I did not even notice it, that it was subconsciously always sitting on my mind, but I think in the end it made me decide to work with Porsche. With 22 I had my first experience driving it and I was so scared to, to, to damage anything on the car that when I started it, it straight stopped again. I couldn't shift. I was so nervous, so uh, this is um, uh, part of the process. <laughs> A sports car with an outstanding history, with an uh, amazing development over the last 50 years. And the most impressive for me is that till today the shape and the design almost didn't change. No, but I think it's a different, it's a different falling in love when you drive a Porsche. When you see it and you are young and you know that, you, that this car might be probably too expensive for you, then it's a different uh, feeling to the car than when you're sitting in it and you know, okay, the sound, uh, the leather, um, the shape, how to drive it, is something what you want. I think this is a difference, big difference. Life itself, I think, writes the best stories, and this is uh, this is the case with me. Point is, I'm German and I'm restoring German cars abroad and um, since my 18th birthday I was dealing with service industry so I know how to serve people on one hand and on the other hand I always had to produce quality otherwise people would just be not satisfied in Germany. The company was set up by me and my Hungarian partner um, eight years ago. The idea was born ten years ago, but first we sorted out the market a little bit and we just uh, had a look at uh, what kind of um, suppliers we could get here in this region until we figured out that most of the things we have to do ourselves because what we expect we couldn't get. One of the reasons for our success is um, the German quality together with the handwork skills what people have in East Europe. This is one of the things what made the whole story be so successful. I think that particularly here in Hungary where we have our production hall, 
people are very much into dealing with old things. We just have to look in the past. There was never um, any education on newer, um, on newer materials, on newer ways how to do it. There was no improvement like we know it in the West. So the skills what the people have here is outstanding. The quality, I think, is something what I just brought. The expectations what we have to the work, what we are going to uh, sell. This combination, I think, is a um, big part of the success what we have. There are some parts what you can't buy anymore, which are um, I think we have a very good network already, of course, after eight years we build up a network where we can buy all the things, which is sometimes in Germany, which most of the times it's in Germany, but uh, rarely we also have to ship them from America uh, to get them. But some parts are still not produced and therefore we are buying old cars, which we use as a donor. So um, there we can get all the parts for um, the suspension, for example, or even some steel parts, what we need, some metal parts. Um, but most of the things we can buy originally. It depends very much on uh, what people, uh, on people needs. Um, some people they just they already bought an old car and they want us to restore it uh, and some other people they just don't find what they really want because nowadays everybody wants to have an old Porsche so uh, we're trying to get them one or we already have it. As soon as the decision is done which kind of car the customer wants he gets an estimate from us. While we are stripping the car completely, we already are making the list of all spare parts which are needed to make the car new. And after this, we sandblast the car that we have really everything which is damaged by rust, we know and we can change. And after this, the body workers are um, having fun with the car. Uh, and lots of hours usually are needed. It's from 250 to 1,000 hours just for the bodywork, depending on the year it was built. And after, the, after finishing the bodywork, um, a visit of our customers is re required. We want the customer to be part of the process. So he's invited, he will check the bodywork, and it doesn't matter if he is a professional or not. He will be able to see the car in its pure conditions and then he will tell us, I'm satisfied with this, we can paint it, or I'm not satisfied. I think in a process of a project like this, which takes 10 to 12 months, for us it's important. It's more than just a car, it's a whole process and we want the customer to be part of it, not just to see the final result. So therefore some uh, visits are required. He will check it, he will check it as well after the paint job and uh, to see, to already get a feeling, what can I expect? How does the color look like? How is the painting itself? There are so many differences on the market and um, and then we start to put the car together. Nobody was asking us ever, as I think you can even call it mandatory to put the car in the same condition as it uh, left the factory in 1966, 67 or whatever, which is also a big part of um, the value if you want to sell the car once. It's called a certificate of authenticity, which Porsche did when the car was delivered first time. And for us it's required to put the car in the same condition Over the years, Porsche was just improving what was happening on the market. Um, the suspension in the first 911 was uh, almost not possible to drive fast in curves. 
it was not possible because everything was just fixed and they were going with the time, they were improving and therefore suspension, engines, everything was just improving. Um, and I think this is part of uh, the process when you're building up cars and um, it depends if you are a collector or if you're a driver. I think when you're a driver then uh, the oldest models of 911 doesn't make sense to drive. When you are a collector in respect of value, I would, I would opt for the oldest 911. Automobile industry in the 60s, 50s and 60s, of course it was like this. It was like this that most of the most of the things were very simple compared to the techniques what we have nowadays. So if somebody says um, to restore an old car like Porsche is very simple, in general, yes. If you know where to get the parts from, if you know how it looked originally, then it's very simple.